In this video, I want to show you how to add a smart chain network to your MetaMask. You know, if it is in Trust Wallet, um, everything is easy. You don't need to add anything. But in in a MetaMask, the default network is Ethereum. And if you want to change the network, you have to go to Settings. When you reach in Settings, you click on Networks. And when you click on networks, you notice that the other networks that are here are Robsten, Covan, Ringby, and all these things are test networks. So you need to click on add network. But when you add network, you notice that there are a lot of things that you need to supply. How do you get this? Okay, this is the reason I'm making this video. So I want to show you how to um, add a new network to your uh, ethereum so this is the name we are going to copy bsc mainnet the network name you copy this bsc mainnet so when you copy it you go to your metamax settings on the settings you click on network click on add network then type this as the network name then for the rpc url for the ROPC URL let's get it you know you need to get all this information handy so you can just um, type it in because if you close you need to start afresh again so let me copy all into my clipboard let me copy everything into my clipboard okay so let's do this copy then for the chain ID, chain ID is supposed to be 56. But if 56 doesn't work, we can use 0x38. Then the symbol is BMB. And the block explorer is um, bscscan.com. So I'm going to I'm going to uh, drop this thing this information in the first comment of this video. Okay, so that it will be handy for you so we go back to our meta mask click on settings click on networks click on add network and right here we type in um network name bsc this can be anything anyway the network name can be anything but you need to be very careful on the rpc okay Okay, chain ID 56 and the symbol the symbol should be BAC and the block explorer should be BSC scan dot com okay so we can write this to be in full binance smart chain okay so like i told you earlier i said all this information i'm going to drop it in the description of this video so make sure you get the correct information in the description of this video so you 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 click on add okay let me let me type in https so that ps is to okay so you click on add okay it is already added so this is um how you add the bsc network to your metamask so let me see if i'm going to let me add a token so you can import a token remember when importing token make sure you use the correct contract address make sure you use the correct contract address so the token i want to import right now 
is um v part but it's going to be the this uh the the bep 20 v part okay i want to import to bep 20 v part so i'm going to their website i'm going to vlaunch.com then on the main page of the website in the main page of the website i'm going to see a link to their bep 20 v part so this is it so i'm going to open this using my chrome and copy the contract address so what we want to do now is to add is to import contract address into metamask i want to import bep 20 contract address into my metamask all right it's it just opened so i'm going to scroll down copy the contracts already copied then i go back to my whoa metamask so if you want to change this from ethereum network you click on here you click this place here you change it to ethereum network but now we want it to be in bsc network so i can import a token so let me import remember i copied the contract address of vpad web 20 so all you have to do is just paste it here and allow and click on this empty space to allow the system to synchronize so as you can see it's already synchronized and it's found that the token is vpad and has a token um, decimal of 18 so you click on import so if i buy or purchase any bep20 vpad it's going to appear here the quantity is going to appear here so let me check the okay so i just hope um, you understood everything i just said so you can use this same method to add it to import any new token you want into your uh, metamask so in my next video i'm going to show you how to stake vpad i'm going to tell you about some things about vpad token um i just discovered the token recently so i would like to share it with my viewers okay do have a nice day